Rebecca? Rebecca, do you feel all right? You don't feel strange in any way? Okay, hold on. Visiting hours are over. That's my brother, David. He must have left his Nintendo long enough to see how I'm doing. Typical. Hello, my name is Rebecca. And I've learned a powerful lesson today. Started out like a typical Saturday morning. I was eating breakfast cereal with my sister, Mari Carmen. She's a fashion monster. I swear she won't do anything unless she's decked out in an evening gown, high heel shoes, and a pound of mom's makeup. I remember when I was that age. And then there's David. Boy, was I gypped when God was handing out brothers. Unwashed, uncivilized, and with the worst case of bedhead you've ever seen. Sometimes I wish we could sell David to the Arabs who could buy new dolls. He messed up all our other ones. Typical. Later on that day, I went outside to play with my doll, the only one I managed to hide from David. I'm not sure how long I was out, but when I woke up, I remember feeling funny. Not funny, ha ha, but funny weird. When I saw the blood, I remember thinking, I could really use a band-aid right now. If only I could stop the bleeding. David wanted forgiveness, but there was no way I was gonna forgive him unless he was kissing my feet. Wait a second. Throw your head against the pole. Fall on your face. Convoke. 
At this point, I realized I had the power to do anything I wanted. I could bring peace to the Middle East or become the first Mexican-American female president of the United States. But first things first. And the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of that bedhead. I realized now that I was kind of losing it at that point. I was out of control. A complete demento. I'm not sure if it was the fall or just the awesome surge of my powers that, you know, caused me to go nutso. Looking back now, I guess it wasn't such a swell idea to tie David to my bicycle and uh, drag him around at 90 miles per hour. But that bedhead was going down, no matter what. He must have gotten caught or something. Because before I knew it, I was flying through the air again. I don't remember much more after that. And here I am. A little bruised, a little shaken, with a headache. It was the first fall that made me go psycho. Because the second fall cleared it all up. I'm a straight thinking kid again. As for my powers, I've learned that responsibility should be applied with them. And I'll never abuse them like I did today ever, ever again. Of that, I'm sure. But David... He'll never be sure. <laughs>